everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play the Friends theme song on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something you want to learn. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you never miss out on another new tutorial. And follow me on Instagram for your chance to win a free lesson with me. So this song is going to be pretty beginner friendly. Make sure if you want to play in the original key to have your guitar in standard tuning and you do not need a capo for this song. We have six chords to play this through. Two of them are bar chords though, so if that's something that you're struggling with right now, make sure to check out my TMT on how to practice and get better at those, including exercises and tips and tricks on how to get better at your bar chords. Um, but beyond that, we also only have one strumming pattern to play through the whole song, so it's super simple, and if you want to play that kind of of um, solo line at the beginning and at the end of the theme song. I'm going to teach you guys the picking pattern for that as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial and we'll start with the chords. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the chords. Like I said, there's only six to play this whole song and we're going to start with our A chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that, you need to know your G chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Next we have our C sharp minor chord, which is our bar, one of our bar chords. That looks like this, and sounds like this. Next we have our B minor chord, which is another bar chord. That looks like this and sounds like this. Then we have our D, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is E, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And those are the six chords you need to know for the song. Alright, so once you have those chords memorized, make sure you take a few moments to practice transitioning between them because this song does move kind of quickly. If transitioning is something that you're struggling with right now, I do have a TMT on how to get better at those and do like practice and things like that, so make sure to check that out if that's something that you're struggling with. But let's go ahead and move on to the strumming pattern I like to use for this song. So the strumming pattern I like to use for this song can be applied through the whole song and as you can see it's down, down, up, down, up. And we're going to repeat this a few times for each chord um, depending on what part of the song you're in and things like that but I will get into that a little bit later. So first let's go ahead and go through the motions of this strumming pattern. I have my A chord on since that's the first chord in the song. We just have down, down, up, down, up. Alright? And that's the whole pattern. So let's do that again. Down, down, up, down, up. Nice. So now let's do it a few times in a row to get used to that rhythm. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Awesome. So super simple, right? Now all you want to do is put in those chord transitions. So let's go ahead and put the chord transitions up on screen so you can see them. And now what we're going to do is hold out this pattern a few times for each of these chords, okay? So starting with our A chord, we've got down, down, up, down, up twice, three times. Then you switch to your G chord, down, down, up, down, up, back to A, down, Then you go to your C sharp minor, down, down, up, down, up. All right, so that's just the beginning. Now what you want to do is practice that strumming pattern through the entire little theme song so that you know how many times you're going to be playing through it for each chord and things like that. For that, you can go to the playthrough here at the end and kind of play through it with me. However, I am going to move on. So what we want to do now after you have the chords and the transitions down is you want to speed it up because this song does go pretty fast. So let me go ahead and show you one time what it sounds like at tempo. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Alright, so as 
you can see, it is moving a little bit faster than we were just practicing it at, but don't worry if this is a little bit fast for you, just pause the video and practice this at your own tempo. But once you get it up to speed, you can actually apply this strumming pattern through the entire song and it'll be the same for the entire theme song. So it's really great, super simple, just to have this one strumming pattern. However, there is one more thing I wanted to show you as far as strumming goes. Um, in the theme song, there is a part where it kind of builds up into the more chorusy part of the theme song. Um, when it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, on the word year, another strumming pattern that you can use is just going down and up, straight down and up on your strumming hand for eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me show you where I would put that and sing it a little bit so you can have it in context with our G chord on. I'm gonna do that last line. And again, we're doing the first strumming pattern for most of this and then switching to that down up strumming pattern just on the word year. When it hasn't been your day, we go up, even your. So right here on the word year, we're going to strum down and up eight times. Year, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? So again, you can add that in there into your cover if you want to. I do think that it sounds really good if you put that in there. However, you could totally just keep with this first strumming pattern if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, that is the entire song. So you could use that strumming pattern with these chords and play through the entire theme song. However, like I promised, I will show you how to do that kind of um, solo line that you hear at the beginning and at the end of the theme song. So let me go ahead and zoom in so I can show you the picking pattern for that. Alright, so I've zoomed in a little bit to show you guys how to play this little solo uh, picking line thing at the beginning. So with your left hand, the first thing I want you to do is put your A chord on, and what you're going to do is strum it down once, then you're going to take your pick and go back to that second uh, B string and pick it two more times. Alright, so we've got A, two, two. Then we're gonna pick it one more time, but before you do that, you wanna take your ring finger on your chord playing hand and take that off, okay? So it's no longer an A like that. We're taking our ring finger off and then picking that second string one more time. All right, so we've got A, two, two, and then you take it off. All right? And then after that, you just go next door and pick the third string. All right, so let's do that again. A, two, two, Take off your ring finger, and then third string. Nice. Awesome. All right, so from here, we're gonna stay on our third string, but this time take off your middle finger, okay? So now only your first finger is on, and pick that twice on your third string. Then go ahead and put your middle finger back on and pick it once. Okay, so we have. Open, open, and then second finger on. And this is all on the third string. Okay, good. And then once you have that, you're just gonna go next door to the second open string, because your third finger on your, your ring finger on your A chord is still off. So it's just our open, second string. Okay. And then go back and then pick the third string one more time. So let's do that last half again. Starting on our third string, we've got Open, open, second finger, open, B string, back to our second finger. All right, good. Nice, so if you put that with the beginning part, we've got A strum, then we've got two, two, let go of your ring finger, open, switch over to your third string, two, let go of your second finger, open, open, put your second finger back on, two, and then go next door to your open B string, and then back to your two on your third string. That's the whole intro there. All right, let's do that one more time. And that's how you play that little solo line at the beginning. Cool, so 
so when I do my cover, I just like to kind of add that at the beginning. And then you just want to repeat it and do it one more time. Strum. Good. So basically, yeah, you want to repeat this little uh, picking pattern twice in a row to go through the very beginning of the theme song. So let me go ahead and show that to you guys without stopping. So um, this is going to take a little bit of practice, especially if you're using a pick like me. Um, I find picks a little bit harder to use than like, you know, my fingers and stuff. But um, yeah, that is how you're going to play through this. So go ahead and pause the video and give that a practice. But you also hear kind of a um, solo line at the very end of the song. So I wanted to go ahead and show that to you as well. So the song ends on a G chord. So go ahead and put your G chord on. Um, I'll be there for you because you're there for me too. We're going to end on our G so right here we're going to add in another little solo picking line and how we're going to do that is we're going to go to our second string and it should be open, right? Like there's no fingers on the second string. So you're going to pick that twice. Then what I want you to do is take your first finger off your G string and put that on the second fret of your third G string and then give that a pick. Okay, so we've got... And then after that, you just want to take your first finger off and then pick that open G string. Okay, so let's do that again. Good. And then from here, you just want to take your third finger, your ring finger, and put that on the third fret of the second B string. And we're just going to go down the scale. We've got our ring finger on the third fret, middle finger on the second fret. Then we're going to take off all fingers and play open. So you can hear kind of it's going down a scale. Perfect. So let's go ahead and put everything together. We've got G, open, open, first finger on the second fret of a G string, then take it off and pick it open. Then we've got our little scale. Three, two, open. And then the chord or the song ends on an A chord. And that's how the song ends. So let's go ahead and do that last part one more time. Okay, let's slow it down and do it one more time. So we've got our G chord, open, open, first finger, open, scale, two, open, A chord. Nice. Awesome. So again, these are kind of optional. If you wanted to add that into your cover when you're playing your chords, I do think that it sounds really cool and really a lot like the theme song itself. So feel free to add these in there if you want to. Again, you're going to have to practice them slowly before you can speed it up. But if you can get it, I think it'll sound really good to put it with the song.
right, so that was my tutorial for how to play that Friends theme song. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as to subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss out on another new tutorial. Here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun things like behind the scenes looks at things coming up. I'll pull you guys on things that you wanna see. And this is also where I do my free monthly lesson giveaway. So make sure to follow me on Instagram for your chance to win. And one last little plug, if you liked the shirt I was wearing in today's tutorial, this is my Forever Faithful guitar shirt. And you can find this and a lot of other different designs in my merch store linked down below as well as under this video. Every purchase there really helps my channel to grow and allows me to continue making these free tutorials for you guys. So thank you so much to anyone who's ever supported me in that way. But I think that ends this tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.